Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today I am posting a collaboration video. This is the Merely Zodiac collab video. It's a collaboration started by Merely Sims, though I think she recently changed her name to The Sims Reaper. So go check her out if you'd like. She asked me and a few other Simmers to join her in a collaboration and she asked us to make zodiac signs as sims. So, I chose to do Taurus because that is my own sign and I thought that would be interesting to do. I did base this sim on some information that I got from a book that I own. Let's just tell you which book I used. Credit the source, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, the book is The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Joost Elfers. So there you go, that's the book I used. So, this book says about Taurus, of course, everyone's different. Every Taurus is different because, you know, all the planets and everything has influence on a person. But generally, a Taurus is a sign of growth and development which I found very interesting. They are a very caring sign. Their uh, planet is Venus, which makes them very loving and very appreciative of beauty. Uh, they are also materialistic. At this point, I haven't given my sim the traits yet. So these are not the ones that I gave her, but I gave her the materialistic trait because that would be perfect for a Taurus. They're also very stubborn. Everyone always knows this about Taurus. They are very stubborn. They like food very, very much. So <laughs> I gave it a foodie trait, which I found very fitting. Uh, they also like peace and quiet and uh, what do you call it? Easiness, comfort. I don't know. They apparently generally are observers. They have good insight in other people and can give valuable advice. They work strategically and are very, like, are real team workers. Even though they do want to keep this sense of individualism. Then their colors, according to this book, are blue and dark green and they're element is earth. That means that they are very connected to nature, they love nature, they, la they love animals a lot. So that's also why I gave her the loves the outdoors trait. And you know they're perfect for gardening and that kind of stuff. So I did give her the, what is it, bot botanic freelancer aspiration. I thought that was the most fitting. I also gave her the name Dawn Waters. I am very bad at coming up with names, so I just randomized the names and came up with Dawn Waters. I thought that was nice because it had the nature aspect in it, I think. <laughs> so yeah, that's her name. Uh, what I tried to do with this sim is I wanted to give her an appearance that is a mix between the sweetness and kindness of the influence of Venus but also give her this edge, like make her a little bit edgy. Just so you know that you shouldn't mess with her because if you mess with a Taurus, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I tried to do. I wanted to give her a septum piercing actually, you know, because bulls usually have this uh, nose ring and I thought a septum ring would be perfect to represent Taurus. But I, I didn't think it suit her very well. So I went with uh, a nose ring on the side instead, which I love on her. So this sim took me so long. It took me over three and a half hours. I want to know how long you take to make one sim with all the outfits because I seem to be the only one taking this long and I want to know if I really am the only one because it's crazy. Anyhow, I gave her uh, socks 
but no shoes because I imagined her to do uh, yoga or dance and I thought socks were more fitting to that. Yeah, I gave her a, a, a blush here because I think if you're sporting, you know, doing sports, you get warm, you get red. Let's be a little realistic here. Didn't give her much makeup with the athletic um, outfit either. And here I first I tried to give her like more of a comfy sleepwear outfit, but then I realized they are affected by the planet Venus. So I thought a little bit more sexy and love kind of outfit would be more fitting. Do I even make sense? I don't know, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, I gave her this very, very cute red underwear and decided to give her some makeup. Not because it's realistic, because you don't sleep with makeup generally, but uh, it, it looks nice, okay? It just looks nice. <laughs> Maybe she's in for a, for, a, for a nice night with someone, you, you don't know. So yeah, that's what I did. Let me know what you guys think of astrology. Do you believe in astrology or do you not? Why? Why not? Leave a comment down below because I'm really curious. For me personally, uh, I think there is uh, some truth in it. At first I wasn't sure. I'm not sure right now either, but I wasn't sure at all. But then for a school project, university project for my course spirituality, I had to go to a, is it a conference? Not a conference, but anyhow, to an event where there would be many people talking and giving readings and stuff. So I decided to get a reading by an astrologer and he looked at my chart and he immediately said something which he couldn't know about me but was true very true and i was like well <laughs> if he knows this about me by looking at my chart not knowing me not being able to know who i am what i like what i do there must be some truth in it so he told me some things and i was like well this must be true in some way. So I think, I don't know how it works. I don't know if everything's true, but I think there is a core of truth in astrology. There's also, I, I was talking to someone, a friend of mine, and you know, we were talking about our personal lives and he said well, something. And I then looked up his birthday in the book I just talked about. And the theme of his birthday was literally exactly what he told me he needed in life. And I was like, what? How does this even? You know, my mind was blown. So, yeah, I, I am uh, very interested in astrology. And I, I want to learn it. I want to get better at it. But I have not taken the time to do so yet. So that's on my list of things I want to do. I want to learn more about astrology. You know, if, you know, astrology is different from astronomy, I know that, but if I were good at physics, which I am not, let me tell you, I would have studied astronomy. I would have loved to do that, but unfortunately I am terrible at physics. So that was just not even an option. So I, I didn't do that. I study psychology now, which I think is um, more fitting for me as a person, my interests and my skills. So yeah, anyhow, I, I didn't really stick with the blue green theme, even though I did try to incorporate some blue and greens into our outfits. But I also had some reds because it was very passionate and I thought, well, Venus, love, you know, it, ma it made sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you too. I am really happy with this sim. I think she turned out super cute. At first I wasn't sure whether, you know, what I was going to do with her, what I wanted her to look like, what I wanted her to wear, but then I just started trying some stuff and I think she turned out absolutely gorgeous. 
if I may say so myself. I do think I will be making the other shines as sims in the future, so if you like those videos, uh, keep out, keep an eye out. Well, they'll be on my channel at some point, so <laughs> that's the point. We are almost at the end of this video, so please don't forget to leave a comment telling me what you think of astrology and I am also very interested what is your sign and if you are comfortable with giving the information what is your birthday and do you recognize yourself in the descriptions of your zodiac sign I'm very curious about that so yeah that was it for today I will leave a list of the other participants of this collaboration in this in the description with all their links so you can go check their channels out. I will also have a playlist with all their videos at the end of this video. So go watch the videos if you are interested. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I do let's plays and create a sim videos. And as I said, there will be more Zodiac videos on my channel. So subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. I will show you some screenshots in a minute. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!